Welcome back to our IB Biology video series. This is the first video in IB Biology Topic 5, Evolution and Biodiversity, where we will be looking at natural selection and evolution. To start this video, it is important to first outline two key definitions, genetic variation and adaptation. Genetic variation is the concept that organisms of the same species vary from one another in their characteristics. It is mainly caused by mutation, forming new alleles, meiosis, creating new combinations of alleles in crossing over and random orientation, and sexual reproduction, combining alleles from two individuals. Adaptations are characteristics that can make an organism suited to a particular way of life, which have developed slowly over many generations. It is thus worth noting that since asexual organisms can therefore only establish variation by mutation, they are less likely to be adapted, and so more likely to become extinct. So, what is natural selection? Well, natural selection is the process by which an organism that is more adapted to its environment can survive, and so can pass on the genes for its adaptation to its offspring. The IB expects you to be able to recall the sequence of events that leads to natural selection in detail. So let's go through these now. First, there is genetic variation within a population, and so some organisms are more adapted than others. Then, there is overpopulation in the habitat, either due to increased reproduction or a decreased death rate, which can be due to reduced predation or disease. This then creates competition for resources such as food or shelter or survival. The organisms more adapted to the habitat are therefore more likely to survive, and those that are not are more likely to die. The organisms that survive can then reproduce and create offspring. The genes for their adaptation can then be inherited by these offspring. Therefore, over time, there is an increase in the proportion of adapted organisms. This observation is known as progressive change. The key example that the IB expects you to be able to use to explain the process of natural selection is that of Peter and Rosemary Grant's observations on the Galapagos Island finches. In 1835, Charles Darwin observed overpopulation of 13 different species of finches, with variation in beak size and shape. Peter and Rosemary Grant further linked this variation to adaptations in feeding. Short beaks favoured smaller seeds, medium beaks favoured moderately sized seeds, and longer beaks favoured larger seeds. The Grants observed that Daphne Major Island, on average, had more finches with smaller beaks. They hypothesised that there were more small seeds, and so the small beaked finches were more adapted to survive and reproduce. However, after a drought in 1977, plants no longer produced seeds. The finches competed for the remaining supply of seeds, so the number of small seeds dwindled, leaving only the large seeds behind. As a result, the number of finches with large beaks increased, as they were now more adapted to survive, reproduce and pass on their genes. Despite a wetter period during an El Nino in 1982-83, the Grants noted that over time there had still been an increase in the proportion of larger beaked finches. They therefore proved that an organism more adapted to its environment had survived and passed on its genes for adaptation to its offspring, i.e. natural selection. Another example of natural selection that often appears in your IB biology exam is that of antibiotic resistance. Let's look at it now. Bacteria are a useful case study as they can reproduce extremely rapidly, mutate quickly and exchange genetic information with one another via a process known as horizontal gene transfer, which does not require reproduction. Recent widespread use of antibiotics has created competition for survival. Therefore, bacteria more adapted to resist these antibiotics survive. These bacteria then reproduce and pass on their genes. Over time, there is an increase in the proportion of bacteria resistant to antibiotics. So, you now know everything about the process of natural selection through two key examples. You've now reached the end of the preview for this IB Science video. If you want to check out the full video, 
head over to our website and select a membership plan today.